Remembering 49 lives lost nearly five years later, runners and walkers kicked off a week of remembrance events across Orlando today. The pandemic sidelined the community rainbow run last year, but nothing stopped the city beautiful from supporting each other this morning. The six is Amanda Castro was there. Footsteps pounding the pavement and cheers from the crowds. Good job, y'all. Good job. As hundreds of runners and walkers take their own pace, moving at different speeds, but all feeling the beat of one pulse. It is hard to believe it's been five years. Jill Davis says she drives by Pulse almost every day on her way to work, telling us this year is her first time participating in the community rainbow run, joining the sea of rainbow runners to remember the 49 lives lost and to support the One Pulse Foundation. It is inspirational. It's very exciting. Um, yeah, it makes me feel very excited to be in Orlando. <laughs> The 4.9K run happening in person Saturday morning at Wadeview Park after going virtual last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Racers excited to come together for the cause. So we're here to support like our community and our people in our office and help contribute to the unity. Pulse owner and One Pulse Foundation CEO Barbara Poma cheered on racers as they ran by the interim memorial, some stopping to take a few moments to pay their respects. While those who couldn't run in person still had the option to participate virtually. The nonprofit posting this video online, POMA thanking everyone, saying their support will make sure Pulse's legacy of love lives on. Funds raised support our mission and our vision to establish a sanctuary of healing and a beacon of hope by memorializing the lives taken, the lives saved, and all the lives affected by the Pulse nightclub tragedy of June 12, 2016. In Orlando, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6. And as we were saying, the Rainbow Run essentially kicks off a week of remembrance events. That includes an evening of reflection and promise, along with a conversation on overcoming barriers between the faith and LGBTQ community and a blood drive. And it all ends with a remembrance ceremony at the Dr. Phillips Center next Saturday, exactly a week from tonight, which we will cover live right here on News 6.